Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 4 with me, Yet Dave. So I got a little bit of money. I basically just walked back to um, this port town here and it's time to do a little bit of shopping. Now this isn't going to hugely increase Maya's attack power, but it does give her the ability to paralyze enemies, um, which actually happens with pretty decent frequency, maybe about one in six times, which, you know, that's not bad. You wouldn't count on it, but it's a bonus that can really uh, help you go a little bit longer. Alright, next up, we do need much better armor. Because I'm preparing us to go into a pretty tough area. Okay, we don't quite have enough for iron armor, which is too bad, because that would be pretty good. But we can get a fur coat and a scale shield. So the two of those combined for not bad results. I'm going to give it to Maya. She needs it badly. So tempting. And I'm not going to bother selling off the extra stuff. We've got probably about 150 worth of inventory kicking around. And look, my characters have pretty low stats, so I'm actually going to stay at the inn real quick as well. And I got a level up off camera. Oh, and just to explain one thing. I've often ended videos explaining, oh, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. Um, the way I'm recording the DS, there's a fair bit of encoding. There's more encoding phases than normal, so it just gives me something to do that's semi-productive at the end. So, Anyway, Maya got a level up and she learned evac and zoom, which is really useful, especially for what we're about to do. So we're going to go to the man in line. Which we had the thrill of visiting at night when it's extra creepy. We can even make a slight detour. Hey! So Jack and Jill's father appears to have passed away. Alright. Welcome to the worst place ever. that one worth using? I think that one I'm going to hold on to for chapter 5. Loads of them. Because magic points? That would have increased MP. That's a stat I really firmly believe in pumping up on the hero. Alright, uh... Welcome to the worst place ever. Uh, want to go... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to try using the Sphere of Silence on the Jinxter, because it has a terrible thing it can do to us. Well... <laughs> yeah, this place sucks. Go get him, Ujim. Running away from all of these fights, by the way, is kind of a legitimate strategy. Just putting that out there right now. Uh, we could take them out. See how horrible this place is? That's why you always leave a note. In the original game, they did have enough MP to cast that spell, by the way. Alright, enemy is paralyzed, we're good. So yeah, that would be kind of an average fight for here. So you know... We didn't completely die, but we did get beaten very badly. Alright, very interesting items here. Actually, uh, let's start by... It's nice that it didn't put the Sphere of Silence in the bag. Bag it. Alright. Yeah, and it's not overrun with crap. Okay. Okay. 
The Silver Tarot cards are really quite an interesting weapon. Um, and if you want to try rocketing to get to them quickly, that's a legitimate strategy. Because um, you can equip them and they're, they're not horrible. And I mean, you got them for free. You can also use them as an item in battle. And anything could happen. So, to a certain extent, you use at your own peril. I'm feeling good about using the magic approach here. Sizz, burn them all! No big deal, 215 experience points. Cost me 6 MP to do it. You might be wondering... Or you might be thinking, Woosh is pretty strong and only costs 2 MP. And Sizz costs 4 and is about the same strength. What's up with that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think so too, buddy. Oh good, more of this. Uh, the fact is, Woosh comes from the air family of spells, or sometimes they refer to them as the Bakian family. Um, they tend to do very inconsistent damage. Please don't. Okay. Now that you've decimated my party... Um, yeah, what the heck, you only live once. Go Mina! <laughs> or go Maya! Yeah. I'm really glad she didn't fall asleep even once. Tingle restores numbness. It's, uh, you know, useful if you get hit by a poison moth knife. Alright. We're doing okay. We're getting near the end of this area. It's not big, it's just full of terrible, bitey, poisonous, painful, fire-breathing things. Hey, Did I mention the fire-breathing? Still, I enjoy the challenge. Yeah, and they hit pretty hard. Healing after every fight, no big deal. That's how you know it's extra fun. It's alright, you don't... This this place is a bit of a sprint. Also, we'll be back here much, much, much later in the game. Alright. Well, it can make some noise anyway. And we know they don't like gunpowder. I can't imagine why a new and unpopular ruler wouldn't want the people to have gunpowder, but I suppose he has his reasons. Well, that's right, man. Don't let uh, your survival instincts get in the way of your greed. Otherwise, it wouldn't be the mammon mine. Uh, Venus Guy Trap. Kind of a hilarious name. Or I suppose a Venus Guy trap, since it's all French here. Oh, we were almost home free. Metal Scorpions! I think I've missed the opportunity to show armor scorpions in Chapter 2. Maybe not. But anyway, these guys are pretty terrible. Alright. Uh, I think we're good. And we're all still alive. And I think I have... <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Come on, big money! 
Alright, that's the lowest possible value, but I'll take it. I also used the other one off camera, and I got five hit points out of it, so average luck. Um, for no reason whatsoever, it's gonna give a medicinal or or two to Maya. Alright. I think, uh, 728, and I want iron armor. I'm gonna be a little short. Alright, I'm gonna start walking back. We're very close to the end of this chapter. And therefore, we're almost at the end of the... Well, I mean, we're about to get into the meat of the game now. Oh, by the way, sometimes these enemies will be... Bullfinches will be asleep at the start of the fight. They're really dangerous when they're asleep. They roll over and thrash in their sleep and can actually be much worse, so... In case I didn't get a chance to show that in Chapter 2 when they're a bit more common. Alright, so our goal... Whoops. Our goal is going to be just to get enough money for the Iron Armor, which I think that might have pushed us there. We need 1,200. I have... I need one more fight. I have 164 worth of silk robes which I can sell. And then I have a leather shield that I'm hauling around. Yeah, that should get me there. We're close enough to it that I can do something crazy. Sell the leather shield. Just enough. And for reasons I'm not going to get into, don't bother having a lot of money on hand. Yay, 30 defense points. Um, and I am going to sell... Don't sell the silver tarot cards. I haven't used them in battle because really crazy stuff can happen. Yeah, I'll sell a Chimera win. And that just gives me enough money to stay at the end. Because we have some revenge to get, everybody. Gotta go all Mafia Catholic on this. Gotta go to the church first. Before we go Godfather here. Absolutely. Can't stop now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do one less check up on the global stats too. Yeah, I think it's time to move Mina to the front of the party. She has fewer hit points than Ujum, but... Uh, her defense is so much higher. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it up. You could make the case that... I mean, it, it would take... It would take enemies with pretty low attack power for it actually to turn into Ujum having fewer hit points, or fewer hits received. Because hit points do really mean quite a bit, but uh, I think we're close enough. Yes, Ujum can pick these locks, which A is awesome. And B, that might enable some crazy uh, sequence breaking. Oh, everybody, if you want money, you should come here earlier. Oh well, too late now. I do often, because this is the last major thing you do in the chapter, 
I often forget all about it. Actually, I'm going to do a little exploring off to the side, too. So... Lock picked. Hmm. Huh. Secret chamber for the throne room. Interesting. Hmm? And I'm just going to run around searching the ground here for no reason. Alright, I found nothing, which means there's nothing to see there. Haha! <laughs> Let me get more angel, you. Yeah, nothing to worry about here, everybody. Just a masked man chasing a finely dressed woman. Yeah? That is the joy of life, but... Hmm... That's worth a lot of money, we should hold on to that. Under your feet, hey? Secret room, voices under the feet. That's all I need to hear. And recall the dislike of gunpowder for our friend the Chancellor. Hmm. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Yes, we've been to the port. We know all about it. Alright, so... Actually, let me check one thing first. So, back here somewhere is where... Architecturally, the voices should be coming from. But, tell you what, we're just gonna go back here... And set off the powder keg. He didn't like that. As long as you don't follow too close, you'll be okay. But I checked the wall. You bet I'm going to press the button. Alright, double check everybody's equipment, because it's go time. Oh no, trouble. The Regent Balzac. This is for your stupid essay on coffee. Give yourself five points if you know what I'm talking about. Yep. The Secret of Evolution. Yeah, he did some tests on himself. Alright, let's kill. The most important thing is to use the Sphere of Silence right away. It does not work all of the time, but it works most of the time. Because you don't want to keep getting hammered by that. Okay, so he's unable to cast spells now. So, let the shooting begin. He's still no pushover, but the fight gets easier. And it can wear off. Also, he has, um, full heal. So that's terrible.
I have had him. I've had the Spear of Silence wear off on him and him successfully use full heal all in one turn. I didn't like that. There we go. Yay, experience points. Bang is nice. It's around the same power as Sizz, maybe about five points stronger, but it hits all enemies regardless of group, so that's nice. Yay! Lord Pissarro, hey? So it looks like uh, Balzac was just a bit player. Hmm. Bien! No, no, no! Ça va mal! Um. Guess we try the Spear of Silence again. Bye, Maya. Well, it didn't work. And that didn't work. You keep on trying, Ujum. Critical hit! Hey. Well, you are locked in this cell. <laughs> they used to hold a speak without accents. You got it. So we're at full life again, which is nice. I'll be holding on to that one. There we go. I know what that means. And... okay, good. Oh yeah, by the way, I got the night light, or it was originally called the Lamp of Darkness. Uh, it makes it nighttime. Hey! Up and at them! Okay, we gotta go while Ujum fights them off. He was also nearly killed earlier. Alright. Yeah, she just says the same thing. Seven lights surrounding one big one. and a little bit of money. I am going to spend the money. Just so we can carry a little bit of it forward into the next chapter, so... 
It'll help a little bit. Oh, we already talked. Okay. Now that we have the boarding pass, we can get on the ship and we can get out of this terrible place. This continent had nothing but sorrow for them. I guess we could... You know what? I'm gonna talk around here, but... Yes. Remember Jack and Jill? Their father was dead outside the mine. <laughs> it's better for you to be an indoor right now, kid. <laughs> but why? Tough luck, York. <laughs> it's not exactly what I meant to happen. Ooh. That's heavy, dude. Back to the Future style. I'm actually gonna take a minute, just because I had one crazy idea. I'm just gonna zoom to laissez-faire. I've never actually explored after the revenge attempt failed. And I was just wondering if Mr. Artois would have something to say. Okay, well that was worth doing. Manager Artois is very supportive, so I wondered if he would have anything to say. You know, since uh, things didn't go as planned. To the harbor! Let's go. I always found this very interesting for... Sort of just a direction for the story to go. They just sort of fled the continent in the end because their attempt failed. A little bit of a different tone than the other chapters ended on. There you go, everybody. The end of chapter four. Just a little bit of their theme. Alright everybody, very exciting. The next video we start chapter 5, which is the game proper. 